So we're here to uh, show a combination that I teach in class often. It's, uh, it kind of falls into that pattern of head, body, head. And really what I like about it is it, it helps build a habit that I've developed over the last few years that I find really beneficial. So the combination is real simple. I'm gonna throw the wall to my opponent's head, I'll throw the hook to the liver, and then I follow up with a jab to the head. Now I could end it there, and I like that sometimes. I'll just go hook to the liver and then jab, boom. And that just helps me reset. Instead of going here, a lot of guys like to throw the two afterwards, or maybe follow up with another hook. I like to just be quick, hit the body, and then reset with that jab. <laughs> I like to add on a little more to just teach again, head, body, head. So I'll go one, two, three, one, two to the body, three to the head. So I'm just throwing one, two, three, two times. I'm just changing targets on some of the punches. So again, one, two to the head, three to the body, one to the head, two to the body, three. Of course, I can add on a kick afterwards, knee, elbow, or another punch. Um, that habit of going hook to the body, jab to the head, again, it just helps me reset and assess the situation. Maybe I run his legs open, I can take that. Maybe I hit that jab, he comes in hard, and I can step back. It just gives me that time and space to make a decision. <laughs> because it is a little longer of a combination, six punches tends to be on the longer side. You can pitter patter some of them and then choose some to be harder. So maybe I pitter patter the one, two and really rip the body and then go back to pitter patter. Maybe you rip the hook at the end or I can change it up, throw a hard one, two, weak body shot and then pitter patter the rest. It just gives you the option to play between power and speed. And that's what, one of the reasons why I like it a lot. <laughs> 